Human League, Don't You Want Me. Let's play all the different sections of the song right off the top here. Uh, after that, I'll go back through, give you a little more guidance, uh, tell you exactly what I'm doing here. Do me a favor, hit the subscription button, and help out the channel. I'm coming out with tons of videos. You don't want to miss it. All right, let's do Don't You Want Me by Human League. <laughs> intro section here. Uh, this will happen a, a time or two throughout the remainder of the song. Um, it's kind of like the riff part of the song, I suppose you'd say. Uh, it's just going to be based around this A minor chord. Okay, open A, two on the D and G, one on the B, and an open high E. All right, and we're just going to give it a couple strums. Come up here, hit some bass notes. We'll do open E to three. Go right back to the A minor chord. hearing it now. Uh, next measure, we'll switch to a new chord here. We hit the A minor, we go back to our open to three on the E, okay, and now we're going to go to a C chord. Okay. Third measure, be just like the first. And now this, this ending fourth measure, uh, we're going to go through this whole thing again, and this is where it's going to change the next time around. This initial time, we're going to do open to three on the A, and then come up and hit the three on the E. And then just finish on that A minor chord. Okay. So just, like I said, bouncing around that A minor chord. Uh, let's go through this first time uh, through here. All right, the next time through, like I said, everything is going to stay the same. You know, those first three measures, just like we did the first time. But at the end, we're going to add a little something extra, uh, a little bit of a scale, uh, where instead of doing the... Okay, we're going to go like this, where we do hammer on, pull off there, on the D, open to two, back to open. Okay, then we do a D scale with the three, two, on the A string, and then we'll come off to that A minor chord. All right, and that happens pretty quick. Okay. So just, like I said, changes slightly there. And uh, towards the end of the song, like uh, we might go through that first time and then that's it. And then another section where we might just do like this second time through and, and that's it. So just little uh, switches that happen towards the end of the song with this main intro riff. <laughs> okay, verse pattern here. Uh, just two chords. It's just kind of more about like the uh, the strumming dynamic, I guess. Um, we'll be following kind of like what the bass is doing. Um, 
So it'll be a couple strums of this F chord. All right, and then we do a couple close together, hold a moment, and then finish with a couple close together too. Okay, something like that. And then we would just hold for that last beat or two for the rest of the measure. And then we just take that, you know, F bar chord, let's bring it up two frets, and we'll do the G. And you just do that G the same way we did the F. So for the verse, we would just, uh, you know, go from the F to the G, just like that, go through that eight times. Pre-chorus section, get to add some more chords here. Uh, the strumming is pretty basic, you know, you could just kind of hit one per measure and be just fine with that, uh, depending on how, you know, busy you want to get with this. Um, so it'll kick off with that A minor chord, go to an E minor, and we do a measure of the F, all right, and this last measure will split, uh, we'll do um, a couple beats of the D minor, and I like to play it up here, this style, with the 5A, uh, 7 on the D and G, 6 on the B there. Just a couple counts. And then to the G. Alright, go through that whole progression twice. And then the last four measures, just before we get to the chorus, we'll do the A minor, to the B minor, C, to E. Simple enough, the chorus, it's pretty much the exact same uh, progression as the verse. F to G, go through it about four times. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.